Hi everyone. I have got another video for you to show you and you're going to love this one. Now, if you click on my videos and you've heard some of my predictions and some of the things that I've talked about over the years, you'll probably remember me talking about Russia. I said that we would get to a point that when we locked down that we would get some help because we don't have enough military. And Russia would be one of the countries, one of the first countries that has already volunteered to assist us. Russia is our friend. And some people have taken my vision and they're like, oh, no way. So guess what happened today? I found a video and let me play it for you. Oh, person's words, not mine. Late last month, Julia Davis, founder of the Russian media monitor watchdog group, shared a clip on X of Sergei Markov, a notably pro-Putin political scientist and former advisor to the Russian leader, suggesting on a Russian state-run media broadcast that a civil war in the U.S. would not only be good for Russia in its war with Ukraine, but good for the world. Ooh. Well, now it seems things are just getting, well, awkward. When you got Russia offering Texas their personal... Oh, I can't. When you got Russia offering Texas their support and that they will stand with Texas as Texas stands against the Biden administration, oh, those are not words I ever expected to ever come out of this mouth in this lifetime. And to be quite frank, I'm not even certain as to who this person is or what exactly their role is, if they even have the authority to offer this type of aid and defense and backup. But I just thought this was definitely news my beautiful American friends and family should know. And on that note, I will also make this very, very clear. 25 states are backing Texas. The majority of these states, if not all of the states, are Republican. On Thursday, 25 Republican governors backed Abbott and Texas's constitutional authority to defend and protect itself against what he has referred to as migrant invasion of his state. Some believe the situation is escalating towards a civil war. The joint statement by the conservative governors reads, we stand in solidarity with our fellow governor, Greg Abbott, and the state of Texas in utilizing every tool and strategy, including razor wire fences to secure the border. We do it in part because the Biden administration is refusing to enforce immigration laws already on the books and is illegally allowing mass parole across America of migrants who entered our country illegally. Upwards of 14 of these states have now sent their law enforcement and their National Guard down to the Texas border to help secure the border. The 14 states. Sorry about that. Sometimes I'm able to turn something off and sometimes I can't. So what I want to re go over is in my vision this is after the 10 days lockdown everybody stands down i don't think people quite understand everybody this is your police officers these are judges these are firemen these are paramedics you're going to stand down because you don't even really know what's going on the only group of people that are going to know exactly what's going on is the military if you're not military you're not going to know what's going on. All you're going to know is that you're told to go home and look at your TV set to stand down. I don't know how they're going to do this on the broadcast, how they're going to get this out there. But police officers, nobody's going to be on the street except military. Nobody. All right. Unless any of these people that are police officers, firemen, if they're National Guard or if they're prior military, maybe they had a, a rank. I'm not really sure, but we're just going to say for now, they're standing down. After you see what they're going to put on there, which I have no idea what they're going to play. You are going to be shocked. All of us. There's going to be things that I don't even know. But I do know that some people are not going to be able to handle it. Some people are going to be sitting on their couch with their mouth wide open, still holding the remote control, not moving. You're going to have people freaking out. You're going to have some people uh, lose their minds and maybe hurt themselves and anyone that's in the house with them, including their pets, period. This is why I keep saying, be prepared to go next door and go grab that child. Be prepared to go get that dog out of the yard. Be prepared to get that cat that's stuck in the window screaming, period. Be prepared because somebody in that house may not be alive. 
And you may be the only person that can save that pet or that child. So be ready for that. Be prepared and be brave. Do it. Save it. Save that dog. Save that cat. Just do it. I'm telling you. So the only people that are going to knock on the doors to see if anybody needs medical attention or if they need uh, food, water. You can see here where I've been talking about it. I've been the only psychic. I have. I've been the only one. So they're going to knock on the door. But if you're smart and you're paying attention, you already know our military is not where it needs to be. If they're talking about recruiting illegals, well, that's because not enough people are joining up. And some people can't pass the test. Some people can't lose the weight. Some people just not interested. We already know that some of our military was forced to get vaccines who are now damaged. They have Bell palsy. Maybe they have AIDS. Maybe some of them have cancer. Some of them are, are severely injured, severely injured where they can't do their job. The ones that didn't want that experimental, they were told to get out. They were they, they got out of the military, not because they wanted to, because they were forced to. All right. So you see where I'm at on this. You see where I'm going. There's not enough United States people in our military. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care. I'm telling you what God showed me. There's not. Now, we need help because you're not going to have police being able to knock on the door. It's all going to be military. We need help. Other countries are more awake than we are. Russia being probably number one. All right. These people have known long before we have that something was off. You ever had a friend that was in the military and they said, oh, we went to such and such and they called us baby eaters and they threw rotten eggs at us. I dated an army ranger at one time. And he told me that's what he experienced. People would yell at them and throw things at him, calling them baby eaters. He says, I don't know why we don't eat babies. That's why they know They've always known. This is why they've hated us. This is why they didn't want us to come to their country to give them any help because we weren't there to help them. We were there to do other things. Long story. That's a whole nother video, but I wanted you to understand. This is why I'm saying other countries are more awake than we are. We're a spoiled country. We think that we're better than everybody. And we have no idea what's really going on and what our taxes have been paying for. So we're completely asleep where other countries have a better understanding of what's really going on. This is why it's going to hurt the United States more than it's going to hurt other countries. It's really going to affect us badly. So we need assistance. We need people from other countries to come here to assist us. Russia is going to be one of them, probably the main one. Now, I did see other people in my visions, but I didn't see their uniforms because my visions, sometimes I'm in someone else's body and I see through their eyes. So this person that opens the door, it was a Marine. And he said, we're here to help you. Do you need any food, water, medical assistance? We're here to help. And he looked at the other man who was standing kind of behind him, but off to the side. He looks at his shoulder and it was a Russian flag on his shoulder. And the Marine says, don't worry, he's here to help. And the man spoke and he sounded Russian. And I snapped out of the vision. So I need you to understand Russia is going to help whether you like it or not, whether you want to believe it or not. I've said this for three years Three years, and I've talked about it probably in other videos. Russia is going to be here to help. Do not be afraid of the Russian people. We may not see eye to eye on everything. We may not like what Russia has done in the past, but Russia has helped the United States before, and Russia is going to help us again. So do not be afraid if a Russian soldier is standing with a Marine and they want to give medical assistance to you or they want to help you do something. Don't be afraid. They're not here to hurt you. If Russia wanted to hurt us, they'd have done it already. OK, guys, they've already done it. Our military is weak. Russia's strong. They wanted to hurt us. They've already done it. So trust me, they're not doing it. 
And if you're keeping up with things, Putin was going to send Russian soldiers into Hawaii if the if the U.S. military didn't get there. He had ships ready. He already said, if you're not there, we're ready to move in and assist those people of Hawaii. Why would he do that? Why? Because he's not the bad guy, period. You may not like how he handles situations. You may not even like the way that they do things. They're a whole different country. They have a whole different way of handling things. We're spoiled. All right. We're spoiled. Let's just say it. It doesn't make us bad people. We're just spoiled. And we can't understand why someone says you're guilty and then kills them the same day. Okay. We have all these rules and laws and regulations that have been enforced on us for so long. We don't even understand. This is why criminals get out. This is why people are on parole because we are like thinking one way. Oh, 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 but you don't understand if a dog bites a child and let's say that child poked a stick in that dog's eye. So the dog retaliated trying to save its own life and bit that child. All people focus on is the dog bit the child. So they take the dog and they put the dog down. They kill the dog. Then they behead it to see if it had rabies. What? It's just awful. But if a human hurts a child, oh, it's a human. We have to treat it differently. We're going to put him in prison for just a year. Then we're going to put him on parole and we're going to give him counseling. And then the person does it again. And then we do the same thing over and over and over. But you didn't give the dog a chance. You didn't look to see why that dog bit that child. All you know is the dog bit the child. Dog's got to go. The dog had more justification to bite a child than that rapist did hurting that child. But that's just the way we are. So that's what you got to understand. People in other countries... They do things differently and we just don't understand it, but it doesn't make them bad. It doesn't make what they do wrong. Not saying what we do is completely wrong. It just doesn't make sense sometimes, but that's a whole nother video and I can go into that later, but I want you to understand more than anything else, you're going to start seeing more and more of my crazy visions come true. You're going to start seeing it in other posts. Do know that don't be afraid. I've already tried to prepare as many people as I can for some of these crazy things. I'm the only psychic that talks about this stuff and I get ridiculed, but I've proved again, my visions are true. My visions are right. They may not be 100% accurate, but they're never 100% wrong. So trust me when I tell you, you're going to see foreign countries here to help us. Please don't be afraid. Trust God. Just trust God. Trust your instincts. You know it to be true. And if you need me, you have questions, you can reach out to me. Go look at some of my other videos. Listen to some of the stuff I'm saying. And you're going to start seeing dots connect. You're going to start understanding. And I'm trying to help as many people as I can. I'm very small. God told me to stay small. He didn't want me to be mainstream. I'm not asking for any money. I don't want to get on a bus and tour around. I don't want to do interviews. I don't want to be famous. I just want to help people. That's all I want to do. I want to help as many people that will hear me and that understand. I'm not making a profit. I'm not in the best situation myself, but God already told me that everything will be fine. I will be okay. And I trust God. So just trust God yourself and just know that no matter what kind of crazy vision I have and I put it out here don't dismiss it as crazy loony never will happen because if you've learned anything things that you think would not happen have already happened things you think would never happen are happening so it might sound crazy but don't dismiss it trust your instincts and do not let go of God's hand because I don't know when this thing's going to roll out. I don't know when it's going to go down. But when it does, it's going to go fast. And you're not going to have time to think. So be ready. Be prepared. And trust the Lord.